In this video, I want to talk about dividing monomial expressions. And one big difference between multiplying monomials and dividing monomials is when you multiply monomials, you're always guaranteed to get another monomial. However, this is not the case when you're dividing two monomials. And we'll talk about the definition real quick. Remember, a monomial is a number a variable or the product of numbers and variables where the variables have whole number exponents. So in order to be a monomial, you have to have the variable in the numerator and it has to be a whole number exponent. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples and see how sometimes that's the case, but sometimes it's not the case. So our first example is 30m to the eighth and we're going to divide that by negative 24m cubed. Well right now it just kind of looks like a fraction. So let's take our 30 and our 24, and it looks like we can actually reduce that fraction by dividing 6 out of both of them. So 30 divided by 6 will be 5, and 24 divided by 6 will be 4. This negative sign here, since it's a positive divided by a negative, it either needs to come out front or on top. We just can't leave negatives in the denominator. So if we put it on top, we'll have negative 5 fourths, Okay, which is our numeric part or our coefficient for our quotient. But now we have to deal with these variables. We have m to the eighth divided by m cubed. So remember when we're dividing like bases, we will subtract the exponents. So ultimately it's going to be 8 minus 3. So it'll be m to the power of 8 minus 3 is 5. And it looks like negative 5 fourths m to the fifth is a monomial because it's the product of a number, negative 5 fourths, and a variable with a whole number exponent. So in this case, the quotient here of these two monomials was itself a monomial. In this second example, I want to show you when you divide two monomials, you're not always guaranteed to get a monomial for the quotient. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have 14 and 35 for our coefficients. So when I divide these, it looks like I can factor and cancel a 7 from both of them. So 14 divided by 7 will become 2. 35 divided by 7 will become 5. So it looks like what I have here is 2 over 5. And then let's talk about our variables next. So we have m's and we have n's. And remember, when you're dividing like bases, you will subtract the exponents. So we're m's here, both of them. We have 6 and a 9. The 9 is actually bigger than the 6. So we're going to say 9 minus 6. But since the larger is on the bottom, the denominator, I'll put this 9 minus 6 in the denominator. So m cubed is actually down below here. And then finally, n to the 8th and n to the 5th, when we're dividing like bases, we subtract. So 8 is bigger, so 8 minus 5, and that'll be n cubed. Okay, so we have this algebraic expression here that is the quotient of these two monomial expressions. But you'll notice this quotient in and of itself is not a monomial because we cannot have the variable here in the denominator because it represents division. And let's discuss real quick again the definition of a monomial is a number, a variable, or the product, which means multiplication of numbers and variables, where the variables have whole number exponents. So this quotient does not meet the definition of a monomial, so this is not a monomial. So the first example, we divided two monomials and we got a monomial. But the second example here, we divided two monomials and we did not get a monomial. So this means that monomials, or in general polynomials, are not closed under division because you're not guaranteed to get a monomial when you divide two monomials. In this final example, let's go ahead and take a look at a geometric application here of dividing monomials. So it looks like we have ourselves a rectangle and we are given the area of the rectangle and you know it's the area because it's in square meters here. And our area is 45 x to the fifth square meters. Okay, well to find the area of a rectangle it's length times width and it looks like this width is going to be 9x squared. 
So to solve for L, this length, which is going to be this way, right, what we can do is divide both sides by W. These W's cancel, and the length then equals the area divided by the width. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. The length equals the area, which is 45x to the fifth, divided by the width, which is 9x squared. So when I do that, the 45 divided by the 9 looks like 5 and 1. And then x to the fifth divided by x squared, when we're dividing like bases, we'll subtract the exponents. So 5 minus 2 will be x cubed. And when I take meters squared, which is the units for the area on top, and divide it by meters, I'll end up with just meters. So I can say now that the length of that rectangle is 5x cubed for the monomial expression, and then the units will be meters. So that's how we can do a problem like that.